Hello everyone out there in YouTube land, I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping in Scents, for a non-shopping, non-scent related video, which I sometimes do. So in my last video, I asked you guys if you wanted to see what was in my emergency to go backpack. So just to recap, um, after Hurricane Sandy, that was about four or five years ago, um, and thankfully I was not impacted by Hurricane Sandy. But anyway, after that, there was an offering of a free disaster preparedness class. And at the end of this free class, which I, re I recommend everybody take a free class if you can on disaster preparedness, because you only have to gain from it. So at the end of the free class, you got this backpack full of stuff. And they explained to us that this was a starter bag that you should always have a bag ready to go with essential, it's a little dusty, uh, with essential items in it in case something terrible happens, uh, like a hurricane, uh, a fire, an earthquake, or what have you. So... I looked in this bag when I first got it. I put it in my closet and stayed there because luckily um, no natural disasters happened and I didn't have a fire or a flood or anything. So um, I put it in my closet and I forgot about it and then I moved and I said, oh, I have a disaster bag. Um, it sounds like my purse when I don't clean it out after a while. Disaster bag. Anyway. <laughs> So I then when I moved, I put the disaster bag in my closet in my new apartment and forgot about it. So I was thinking to myself now that we're going through this whole um, pandemic um, that I should probably look in this bag and there might be some useful stuff in here. And I was amazed. I was amazed at how much stuff is in here. Now, I've had this bag, like I said, for about four or five years. So the stuff in it, some of it is about to expire next year in 2021. <clears throat> so I will have to uh, replenish some of the things in here, although I quite don't know where I would find them. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to show you all the things that are in this gigantic, gigantic disaster to go bag. So because you guys wanted to see it and I wanted to show you. There are some really interesting things in here if I can find the zipper to open it. Okay, so the first thing in the disaster bag is this ER first aid kit. And this is a 52 piece first aid kit. That's a better quality than you would get at your Dollar Tree or that, you know, when I, do you guys ever go to the pharmacy and you see a first aid kit and you think, oh, I should get one of those for the car. I should get one of those for the house. And then you don't buy it or you do buy it and you forget about it or misplace it. Well, I have never bought an actual 52 piece. I don't think I've ever seen one of these um, in the pharmacy. So this says emergency ready first aid kit, 52 pieces. It says includes critical supplies to clean, treat and protect. Now, what's in what's in here i'm not going to open it but i'm going to tell you what what's in here so the, and don't bail on the video yet because there's more interesting things coming so it says it's got bandages it's got elbow bandages it's got big bandages little bandages medical grade vinyl gloves safety pin triple antibiotic ointments non-aspirin tablets ibuprofen ibuprofen tablets antiseptic towelettes aspirin tablets alcohol cleaning pads and emergency first aid guide in addition to all the bandages so that is a really good handy thing to have then let's see oh okay so here's some of this and this is cold it's oh it, it was cold last time when i took it out um two three days ago whenever i shot that last video where i talked about this but anyway so this is a, a ziploc bag filled with emergency purified drinking water so there's one two three four five six packs of emergency purified drinking water in here and i don't know why it's always cold and it says it's approved by the u.s coast guard 
I don't know that I would actually drink this. I don't know. So I, I want to do a video. There's like food stuffs in here too. If I was daring, I would do a video where I actually tried the liquid and food stuffs in this bag. I don't know. Anyway, it says directions for use. Let's see. First 24 hours, do not drink any water. Only if injured or sick. Thereafter, use two bags per person per day. Avoid conditions which cause sweating or increased thirst. Discard bag if air or water escapes when squeezed or manufacture date exceeds five years. This expires. The, it says that it was made in February 2016. So I was right about four years, five years, and then a full four years. And then uh, it expires January 2021. It says... Use SOS food ration. I don't I don't think I have that. Maybe that's what's in there. To obtain lowest body water requirement. I don't know. Where would you get this stuff? I, I mean, I'm sure you guys will tell me. Oh, and then there are these hefty. Oh, they do not smell pleasant. These hefty kind of heavy duty gloves then there is a precision look what's in here this is so weird there's a precision am fm two band radio so there's this little radio and there is some giant batteries and some little batteries so these are like the heavy duty what are these d batteries and then these are like the the a batteries double a batteries so which goes in here it says uh power dc 3v i don't know built-in uh speaker and earphone jack so there's a radio with batteries but i'm curious i think these batteries would go in here and not these so why would they give you both i don't know um so yes yeah, so you get yourself a, a little radio there so you can keep track of what's happening <clears throat> these might come in handy goggles now when i go out there and i'm trying to protect myself from from the coronavirus i don't know am i allowed to say that word am i going to get banned from youtube i don't know they're they're flagging videos i hear uh it says these are radnor goggles okay it says this goggle and its lenses are not unbreakable this will not protect you under severe impact uh, under severe impact hazards such as but not limited to fragmenting grinding wheels explosive devices corrosive liquids or molten metal okay machine guards eye conforming splash protection or other engineered devices must be used when these hazards exist Pitted or scratched lenses, reduced vision. Replace the lenses immediately. And then just says, inspect frequently and immediately replace worn or damaged parts. Clean only with mild soap and water. Do not use solvents. I'm going to start. I didn't read you the first paragraph. I should have read you the first paragraph. But it says, for your own protection, read these instructions completely before using this goggle. Use of wrong or defective eye protection or lenses can result in damage to or loss of eyesight so like how how do people with eyeglasses wear goggles on top of well i guess you could wear the goggles on top of glasses now you know the struggles of when i go to see a 3d movie and i have to put glasses on top of glasses that's why i don't go see 3d movies then those maybe you know what maybe these these batteries in here maybe these are for the radio and then these batteries here are for this handy dandy flashlight that's in here 
Let's see what else. Got some duct tape. Um, I don't know if the logo. It's got a pad and pen. Now let's see what's in this interesting box here. Ah, it is another flashlight with batteries. Then we have, okay, so I wanted to show you guys what's in this bag because this was really interesting. Okay, so I'm going to open this bag up. If I can open it and I swear the stuff in this bag is dusty. Oh, clean my nose. Oh, dusty. So in here we have an emergency blanket. It says reflects body heat back to the body. Silver both sides, 52 by 84, wind and waterproof. And then it says pro pack, know us before you need us. Okay. And my neighbors outside are making lots of noise. Then it, there's a pro light six inch light stick. If you're snoring in the background, that's my pug Malcolm. There's a, a whistle. I'm assuming this is a whistle. And then what's in here, but what everybody has been looking for, this is a pro pack. Can you see it there? This is an N95 face mask. This is the face mask that they're telling everybody that they need. Uh, all the, the people that use protective um, stuff like nurses, doctors, and, and such. So this, there's one N95 mask in here. I was like, when I found out, when I found that, I was like, I struck gold because I'm going to put that aside because I don't really need the N95 mask right now, but you never know. See, now who would have known four to five years ago when I took that class that this stuff would come in real handy? So here, then we have a one, one mil, I don't know, is that millimeter or millimeter plastic drop cloth? No, very Dexter. I don't like that show, though. Uh, and then there's, there's this little... I don't want to read... Some of these have company logos on them. So, anyway, there's this little pouch. And in the little pouch is a keychain with a flashlight. And what else is in here? hand sanitizer and this is uh 0 0.5 fluid ounce so this is half of what's in a bath and body works hand sanitizer uh yeah and that's it that's in that little little pouch there <clears throat> this is what's really interesting okay now if i was daring like i said i would try that purified water and I would try this stuff. What is this? I want to show you guys real close up. I know you can't read any of that. There's four packs in here. And okay. So this is a survival food pack. It says SOS Food Lab Inc. Life boats and life rafts from the U.S. Coast Guard. It says each packet contains six fortified food bars, offers maximum survival capability with drinking water restrictions under all climate conditions. Directions, eat two food bars per person per day, replace within five years of manufacturer date. And this expires, it says manufactured for... 2016 expires 3 20, uh, uh, 2021. Okay. Would you eat this? 
Tell me in the comments below. It says it's got wheat flour, vegetable shortening, sugar, coconut, corn starch, corn syrup, a whole bunch of other stuff. Made in the USA. Each packet contains six fortified food bars. Would you guys, hello, would you guys eat this? I don't know. <clears throat> then there's this bag. I guess it's a, a plastic bag with a cap that you can put water in if you're needed to put water in this. Let's say you were out like it was like the end of the world or something and you found a, a pond or a, some water source and you wanted to save some water. And I think the last thing in here is going to be this little bag. And in here we have some more bandages and tape. And then we have a little pair of scissors and some safety pins. Some thread, a needle, and some buttons. Some Q-tips. A pill bottle with no pills in it. And some really weird looking plastic uh, tweezers. And a gauze pad. Is that it? That's it. So let me see if there's anything else left in the survivalist bag. I'm dropping stuff on the floor. Okay. Let me double check. And this is a great backpack because it's got lots of compartments. There's not any stuff in any of the other compartments. So that's it. That's all that's in the survival bag. Um, so tell me guys, what do you think? That's enough stuff, I think, to, I don't know. Is it enough stuff to survive on? I, it's better to have it than not to have it. Um, and I have one year roughly, to decide whether I want to try that water and fortified food bars. I just, I don't know. I just can't commit to it right now. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to comment, rate, subscribe, and I will see you in my in my next video if I don't get tongue-tied. But until then, oh, until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.